Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandra. If you're meeting for the first time, welcome. For those of you guys that vibe with me every week, multiple times a week, it is so good to have you back once again. Of course, we're going to be shuffling the cards and pulling the charts for the Scorpio full moon. I'm going to dive right in because I am feeling it today, honey. I want to see what is going on with the tarot, with the energy. But before we dive in, let's take a deep breath and let's connect with our guides who are here to help us navigate along this path on earth. It is imperfect, but it is ours. Spirit guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you so much for your presence now. I thank you so much for this moment. I thank you so much for my health and the health of the viewer. Protect the peace of us, of both of us. Make sure that we are peaceful. Make sure that we are connected. The purpose and the intention of this reading is to connect with those who need it most to deliver messages, to help guide us, to enlighten us, to help us be prosperous and peaceful and happy and healthy. Give us the lantern and light the way. I come to you now and I ask that you speak to me with clarity and that you give me the discernment so that I'm able to see, hear, receive, observe the messages that you're showing me with precision in detail. I feel you now showing up, thank you. I'll be using the cards, the tarot, in order to connect with you, in order to receive messages. Divine, what do, what does the collective need to hear for the Scorpio full moon? Um, I just heard like, like a guard stand, stand your ground guard, guardrail. What is that? Um, you guys, some of you guys, when you're driving, be really, really careful. Be very, very careful when you're driving, no texting and driving at the time. I know that a lot of us are guilty of doing that. No texting and driving at the time of the full moon. Don't do it. Um, I heard, I'm hearing the word racketeering. I don't know what that is. Hold on. Racketeering. Definition. Dishonest and fraudulent business dealings, yo. And then we see, um, what, who is this? R. Kelly? Yeah, the act of acquiring a business through illegal activity, operating a business with illegal derived income or other business to commence. Someone needs fraudulent extortion. This, the Scorpio, which makes a lot of sense because Scorpio full, Scorpio full moon is about exposing that who needs to be exposed. So this could be really uh, messed up business dealings. Someone could be, uh, this is a very specific message. Someone could be trying to run from the police. This does not, this is a very strong message. So someone needs to hear it. This is, someone's like running from the police. Someone, I, I just heard running from the cops or hiding from the cops. It's like a high speed chase. I feel like you guys, when, you, when you're driving, make sure that you're looking where you're going. You're not texting and driving. You're aware. Even if you're not driving under the influence, other people are on the road too. You don't know where they're, what they're doing, what they've been into. So those are things that you really want to be aware of. I just heard the word powder puff. Um, so interesting. I heard powder puff. That's very specific. The only powder puff I can think of is football and also power puff girls, but this might be something specific about something that might look harmless, it, but is potent or deadly. I'm getting a vision of a cobra, something that looks like it's benign or looks like it's not going to hurt you. And then all of a sudden it snaps at your ankle and it's just like lights out. So there's a really strong, and I'm getting like chills. I'm getting chills. 
Um, I'm getting, I, I'm also getting a vision with women, women and men, but specifically how men target women and they seem like they're harmless or seem like they want your best interests, like they have your best interests. You might feel like you're safe around them, but in reality, they're like a predator. Ooh, I, this is a really strong message that makes a lot of sense. Scorpio does bring out the dark and full moons, especially eclipses, they expose, they expose, they expose, expose, expose. There's like an expose on something. Something feels there's um, disheartened, disheartened. I, I'm getting like a powder puff again. I don't know why. It's like... Um, someone's uh, taking, I just heard a uh, detox bath. Someone's taking a detox bath, Epsom salts. This is something not related, not connected. Someone is needing to cleanse their energy of the battleground, the battlefield, being on the battleground. If there's a invitation to go to people or around things that battle war anything like that there's any type of conflict of interest it's best that you don't go uh the time of the eclipse the full moon i feel like many of you guys need to lay low uh and detox the body don't be involved in things don't be active don't show up for for other things it's best that you lay low Stay dormant, stay under the radar, stay quiet, don't get involved is what I'm hearing. I'm getting um, a vision of like deep, 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 deep water. Oh God, this is, I hate this. This is someone who's swimming in water, like swimming at night, swimming in a lake, swimming and the waters are just, they're like coming to life. This is so creepy. There's this image of the waters coming to life. They're coming to life and I'm hearing groundbreaking. So it's like, Something that literally just changes everything. It's like the water swallow. Don't go in rivers. Don't go in the lakes. Don't go in the, if you're going in the ocean, don't go at night. There's something about going at night, a current pulling you out. Pulling, something pulling you under. It feels really dark, feels really dank. It feels very, there's a, everyone, people are, And as I said that, I have the death card here, just sitting here. I mean, just mark my words. I'm hearing under the banyan tree. Some of you, the banyan tree is really powerful spiritually because that's where I, I believe it was uh, Buddha himself would go and sit and meditate and contemplate the meaning of life. But it's spirit is guiding you guys to not be involved in all the things and not be involved in everything, even if it's your friends calling you out. It just feels like a mark. Oh my God, I hate this. I don't like this vibe. I also feel like sending Reiki out, but Spirit's not guiding me to do that. So it's you sending Reiki to yourself. You, if, you're, if you're a parent, you send the Reiki to your children to protect them. So even if you're not a Reiki master, if you're not, you can still pray for your children. You can still pray for their protection. You can still pray for their healing. Do that. Um, mental health is coming up. Some of these deep, dark waters represent depression, anxiety, coercion, something about being coerced and you kind of falling for it. Someone who has mental illness or addiction, they're trying to coerce someone into something, into darkness. What is up? I have, I don't feel good with this message right now at all. Guys, seven of swords and judgment reversed. Avoid, <laughs> Desus Mero, po <laughs> he posts this thing every Fridays. He goes, avoid the bookings, beloved. I love him. Shout out to Desus Mero. He says, avoid the bookings, beloved. It's like something that you want to avoid. It's like going out this weekend. Don't go out this weekend. Stay reading a book. Stay under the banyan tree. Stay where you are spiritually protected. You do not need to be involved. Um, Spirit just said, you have been informed. You have been informed. Maybe I just heard a hookup. Someone says like you might be coming out for a hookup. Don't, if this is a new hookup, don't, don't go. 
don't go. There's something about just some dank ass energy here that's just not, when it comes to weed, drugs, anything like that, don't smoke it, don't receive, don't accept drinks from anybody, don't do it. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Lover's card here. Something is trying to coerce you. Something is trying to manipulate you, catch you off guard, get you outside. Just mark my words, stay inside. I don't know why. Nova, no. Hmm. I feel a lot of energy in my hands, my arms. I'm hearing um, spirits say, do something with it. Like, do something with it. Do something with the energy that you guys are feeling. Meaning, like, if you get an intuitive hunch about something, some of you guys are, like, looking for signs of it. We have two of wands and we have hierophant. Some of you guys are looking for a sign of, like, okay, to confirm the intuitive feeling. Some of you guys are actually consulting the Bible. You're consulting text messages. You're looking for things. No. When God or spirit or the divine tells gives you a warning or tells you about something that you need to know or hear heed the advice and don't go looking for evidence of why you shouldn't like i just heard the word prevail you will prevail you will do better and you will do best by just listening to your intuition and listening to your hunches and listening to spiritual guides that you do trust um i'm hearing something about clear skies calmer waters clearer waters after this, after this, it's going to be clear skies, calmer waters, clear waters. Something about, there's just something like a shadow is going to pass. Oh my gosh, what? A shadow is going to pass over this weekend. It's really creepy. It actually makes me want to just stop this video right now. Like, I'm, I'm good. It makes me want to, like, run. <laughs> like, run for... Run, hide, protect, close my blinds. Like, it's just, I don't, you don't need to be involved in this. If, if you're watching this right now, if you're involved in some dark shit, you, if you're involved this deep in some dark shit, then I, I mean, why are, there's no way that you would be even on this channel. There's no way, unless you're trying to attack light. Um, there's some people, some people are, have gone on too far. Like, it's like we're in really spiritual sensitive times. We're in very spiritual sensitive times. We're not talking about this enough. People are calling out to things all the time and they don't know exactly what it is it they're calling out to. And some of you guys, as you're calling out spirit, you're not c coming from it from a pure heart. So you have resentment, you have jealousy, you have addiction, you have codependency, you have a, um, like, like, just something about, it's like your shadow self hasn't really been resolved. So then you're like, that's your energy because that's what you're dealing with. And you think that, you would think that this person is of love and light and good intention, but it's like they're calling out to spirit, but they have an impure heart or they have heaviness on their heart or they have dankness in their heart. And they just keep going further and further and further. And spirit comes in like a shadow, like a cloud. Um, recounts. The word is recounts. Tell someone about something, give an account of an event or experience. So they start to recount it. They start to show you. They start to show you. This is this, 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 this. Someone getting on a plane this weekend, there's going to be turbulence on the plane. A lot of turbulence, just like, pew, or like you're drop flying and then it drops let not in like a death way but like a like commercial flights you're safe guys let hear me when i say this commercial flights you're safe but just if you're afraid of turbulence then just i'm just giving you measures to protect your your fear of tur if you if you have if you're fearful of turbulence it's like something like a pocket smaller craft flights feel like they're in danger of something more severe 
serious. Something gets, I just heard the word provoked. Like you're, pro, you're provoking fate. You're provoking, like poking at fate. What? I don't like this reading. Someone is in the ocean and a wave comes over their head, just knocks them. You're poking with fate. Someone who's been provoking fate with drugs or medicine or something like that, like you take too much you and it's like, you may have narrowly escaped something. The Scorpio full moon feels like you just, you tempted it too much. Now I'm looking at it, we have Pluto retrograde, sextile the moon, the actual eclipse, the full moon. Even though sextile is quote unquote a positive transit, all you need is planets to connect, okay? There is no such thing as Oh my God, it's a trine, so this is positive. Or, oh, it's a square, so this is bad. Like, stop with that mindset. I, I couldn't tell you enough about that. Some of you guys, if you're feeling restriction in the throat, in the, in the esophagus, into the heart, it's time to relax. You take a deep soak, you take a deep breath, you prioritize and maintain and restore, this is what I'm hearing, restore order in the body. Anything that's chaotic, anything that is stressful, you have to restore it. You you invite in peace, you invite in, don't invite in dysfunction, don't d d invite in trauma or chaos. Some of you guys keep going back to, I heard chaotic landscaping. It's like a, a ground, like the grounds keep, like the grounds keeping of, a, a thing it's like your comfort zone so you keep going back and looking towards it or trying accidentally recreating it like you've come so far and then all of a sudden you are creating landscape that looks like what you've left behind spirits like observe spirit wants you guys to say thank you more um, Queen of Swords right here and Two of Wands. So this is 1000% about look, observe, don't react. And also detachment and discernment and distance. Some of you guys have really been lurking and you are going to a dark cloud. Spirit just won't allow it anymore. It's like you received a bunch of warning signs. This is a very specific message for someone. Someone that has been doing dark shit and like you've given you've been given specific warnings from spirit and you just keep doing it you keep going back and spirit's like you can't hurt or harm my child you can't hurt or harm my children so if you're attacking or trying to like attack a a, a person of light and love a dark shadow is going to pass over your home it i don't want to say it because I don't, it brings illness, it brings death, it brings, you need to do right. This is for someone who's been dabbling in spiritual work, but also has an impure heart. They're very jealous, they're conceited. I don't know why I'm hearing the word conceited. They are, have hate in their heart, they have vengeance in their heart, and they're trying to like manifest abundance. They're trying to manifest love. And it's like what you're attracting is more contracts, like more. So it's like you need to, and the spirit told you, or the person that you're working magic on, they told you. I don't love you. I don't like you. That's not for you. That's not. And then you just keep trying to show up. You keep trying to advance. You keep trying to push your way forward and spirit. Mm -mm. On the flip side, those of you guys that have been victimized, those of you guys that have been stalked, harassed, you're, you're going to see the end of it because the person or the thing or the event that has been harassing you is about to have, is going to face karma and fate. Spirit is like, there's no excuses. Some of the people who have been harassing, some of the people that have been doing dark shit, there's no excuses. Spirit knows your heart. Spirit knows your intention. Spirit says, you know what you're doing. Six of Wands, it will be successful in seeing your fail, in seeing the fallout. 
And for those of you guys of love and light, I feel like you just close your blinds, you stay in the house. I didn't have plans this weekend at Yup. Six of Wands and Four of Swords. The time of the eclipse, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna be in the house. Like we're gonna be in the house. It's like oh, I'm hearing fallout shelter. And then I'm hearing bombs away, like the fuck. This weekend, for the beings of love and light, you're going to absolutely be in a cave. You're going to be in your safe space. You're going to be in your bubble. You're going to be protected. And what does that mean when you're being protected? That means the things that have been trying to attack you will be dealt with. My God. Yep. Four of swords, seven of swords. I just heard it is happening. Terrifying. Spirit, God is not like, will not allow people to be fucked with. And God is also very graceful, or the divine is very graceful, but, and gives mercy. But if you take advantage of that for too long, Page of Pentacles. So if this is directly a punch towards someone who's been really like it's like someone trying to manifest abundance or manifest co like a commitment or manifest something two of wands they just two of wands keep showing up i'm hearing irreconcilable uh, differences just people don't have i'm here i'm seeing like two people who are like like it could be a friend it could be a partnership it could be a business thing it could be the two sides of yourself it could be you in a relationship um one person it's like you guys started off the path similar and giving the best and then one person just kind of took a turn into toxic town <laughs> and then the other partner was just like kind of I just heard the words remote, like working remotely. So they were just working away from and like working on their goals, working on themselves. And then they felt abandoned by the person who took a turn into toxic town. And then that person is like drinking too much, doing too much, whatever, partying, whatever, just doing dumb shit. And spirits like kind of giving them warnings and they go back to it. Three of Wands, it's, you knew it was coming. It's like this energy of like, you knew, you saw this coming from a mile away. Like, don't stand on the train tracks and wonder like, oh my God, why you got hit by a train? Like, it, the train was going to come eventually. Like, justice. to um one of my friends has a spiritual shop she's killing it she's killing the game in the best way possible she gave me a reading the other day it was so nice she was just like i just i it was so it was so great i love them and um her and her husband and i bought this like fortune teller cup Oop. such a vibe i don't know what i just thought about someone says the word condone don't condone something don't a lot like be like oh, okay i'm okay with it when uh, accept and allow behavior that is considered morally wrong or offensive to continue exactly don't allow and then you have condone definition in hunger games condone definition the most dangerous game it's not me right three of wands Something is not right here. I think the eclipse is going to, the Scorpio full moon is really going to show something. I'm also hearing like repeated patterns, repetitive patterns. Someone from the past could, 
see that you're doing well and see that you're healthy and happy and thriving, even if you might be a little sad. Yeah, Sun card, people are gonna be drawn to your light and they're gonna wanna reach out to it. They're gonna wanna have access to it again. And Spirit is like, don't condone this bad behavior by enabling this person. I'm seeing um, also Caribbean or Cuban food. I heard the word flank, like a flank, so like a meat. If this is to do with culture, like you're gonna meet with your family um, for like a weekend barbecue or something, that is good. Like something about eating the flank of steak or eating a flank of pork or something like that, like something. Um, but if this is like you on a vegan diet or a detox diet, detox diet and you don't, like spirit told you don't eat the meat, don't eat the meat. <laughs> so specific. So specific. However, if spirit told you don't eat the meat and you go to a family event and it's something for culture or something that your culture does, the devil card, then you could do it. Guys, something is in the mix. Be very aware of people who want to work with you because of your light. But they are not coming from a, a light place. They're coming from a shadow aspect space. If this is an ex or a past friend or a past connection that comes in, I'm seeing that they're offering you to go to a restaurant, offering you to go to a nice restaurant. Don't accept this invitation at the time of the eclipse. You're, you're, you're going to be tested with this. You're dancing with the devil is what I've heard. Five of cups, queen of wands reversed at the time of the eclipse. Spirit, I'm listening. Someone knows what they're doing. I'm hearing that they know that they have an impure heart. They know that they don't have good intentions. They know that they can't or don't want to give to you what you have asked for, what you will ask for, what you want. They know what they're doing. Spirit is also trying to protect. Oh my God, dude. Look, there's like a hand just kind of pulling this lady down and she's like trying to do better. And she's, it's like, you're trying to do better. Like, okay. Um. And um. Why do you act so stupid? And um, you know that I'm always right. Looks like an early winter. Yeah, that song's coming through. Um, by Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani, early winter. Um, it's like something. Oh my God, I hate this reading. Okay, I don't want to stop this reading, but I don't like the way I feel. And Spirit is also showing me, it's like, and I can't talk about it out loud. <sighs> um, not in regards to what I'm about to say. So don't try and put the pieces of the puzzle together. I hate when people do that. But... Some people see a light and they're drawn to it. Devil. Three of pentacles, three of wands. They want to reach with it. They want to work with it. There's a reason why six of wands, we get on our horses and we get the fuck out of Dodge. Beings of love and light. You don't stay in a space where spirit is telling you, you don't need to be here. You don't need to belong here. Like... You don't belong here. Like your intention to help is good and right and whatever. But some people do not have good intentions. I'm hearing the word um, malignant. They're like anything that they touch, it turns into. And they could easily fix this. And I'm hearing they're easily provoked. Like they're easily provoked into a dark space. So it's like. They'll have like this 12 
percent of them that is of love and light, but they allow the rest of the percentage to get provoked and triggered. And then that percentage, that shadow, that cloud comes over and they're just a demon. Like that's the, that's the, how I feel. And it's so intense because it's like you, you, it's like they're, they're not fighting their own demons. Meanwhile, you are doing well for yourself. You're, you're heeding spirits advice. You're doing the spiritual work. You're taking accountability for your actions. You're living, you're growing. Spirit does not expect perfection from you. Spirit, that was something too that spirit says, don't remember, we kept getting these message about no performance. Don't, don't perform. Don't be, don't expect perfection, but try to work on progress. Try to do better. We kept getting that for like two months. And now it's like, whoever, I don't know, something comes in and just tries to pull you down. And granted, because they're coming from such a dark space, like this is literally the five of, for some of you guys, you're asking like, Jess, should I manifest during the eclipse? Do it, should I manifest during the soul, the full moon, full moon in Scorpio? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do not have fear in your heart. Okay. If you know that you want better for yourself, you know that you need healing, you know, like you know that you want to be released from something, you know that you want to be protected, you know that but this is a warning to those who they're not doing better. They're not knowing better and doing better. They keep picking up the bottle. Whatever it is, like there, there's this picking up of the bottle. It could be alcohol, especially with five of cups here, queen of wands. It's like they're dabbling in drinking fire. Um, and that's a, there's like a cup, like a, a red pill, blue pill. Like, what are you going to choose to decide to do? Like, what are you going to choose to ingest? Are you going to go with healing and what, what spirit is calling for your life, even though it may not be the most happy all the time, even though it may be more difficult. Some people are, are seeing like, okay, I'm going to choose this cup full of fire. I'm going to drink it. Because it looks like a good time. And really what it is, is it's, it's temptation. It's the devil. It's a demon. It's dark. It's of the dark side. So even though it looks good and spirit has clearly told them, don't drink from that cup. They're like, oh, well, how bad could it be? Or I, spirit told me not to do it. And I drank from that cup or I bit that freaking apple. And it's like, you were warned a few times and then you just kept chomping into it. So... Ten of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Spirit, your ancestors, they said you've been forewarned. They have been forewarned. This is someone who keeps trespassing over protected soil, a sacred land. Someone who has violated sacred rites or rituals. Someone who has talked evil or bad towards someone who someone worships and is spending time with worshiping. Like... Guys, we have the death card here in the three of cups. Don't go out. No partying. No partying this weekend. Are we in May? <laughs> what day is it? Yeah. May 16th. It's on a Monday. Someone's going on vacation, 13, 14, 15, 16. Go on the vacation. Don't not go on the vacation. Some of you guys are like, should I cancel my plans? No, go on this vacation. I would steer away from helicopter rides. I don't know why. Helicopter rides, small crafts, small boats, small airplanes, motorcycles. I would just stay away from that. Like, if you're doing it for fun, just don't. This doesn't feel right. Ugh. Nine of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Something is, it's like you're trying to work through your anxiety, your angst, and spirit is like, don't do that. You feel anxious, you feel uneasy towards this thing for a reason. This is not just your work or your career. 
even though it's eight of pentacles, although if the message applies there and resonates by all means, this has to do with you trying to really work through like, look, she's even crying as she's working. It's like you trying to trespass. It's like you being called to trespass into something when you're like, I know I shouldn't be here. And then you wonder like, why, you know, I don't know. There is this, okay. There's a spot in Philadelphia. It was called the Grand, that's not Delilah, but it's something, I don't know why I'm hearing the word Delilah, um, but it's like this Grand Hotel or whatever. And the Grand, it was like their Lorraine, the Divine Lorraine. <gasps> Oh my God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the, it was the divine Lorraine. Emphasis on the word divine. I'm done. I don't, I don't want to do this reading anymore. This is not for, like, this is not it. I can't. There is this thing called the divine Lorraine. What does the word Lorraine mean? Why is spirit showing me this right now? It's not funny. Sometimes I laugh when I'm uncomfortable. Don't. Famous army. Did I not say that? The army, the fighting. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. It's from the, pro oh my God, it's the name of the province in France where Joan of Arc came from and a family of what? Oh. No, um, y'all need to stop it right fucking now. In German, baby names, the naming of the lid made famous in battle. From Loth, whatever, from Lothair's kingdom, Loth, Lothair was a ruler of the region during the ninth century. Uh uh, nope, no. The kingdom of Loth, Loth, Lothair, a Frankish king, the great grandson of Charlemagne, whose realm was. Does Lorraine mean warrior, guys? No, ma'am. Y'all don't need to be getting involved. I'm telling you, it became popular after World War I when the region was in the news as it was contested between Germany and France. Something about war, something about staying inside, something about, I just heard like something being frank and obvious. Like, okay, and the, the word divine the Divine Lorraine. So for those of you guys that don't know, there was this um, hotel, it was called the Divine Lorraine in Philadelphia, right outside of Center City, Philly. And for the longest time, it has an amazing history of like being the first hotel where black people, African-American people could stay in it safely. Um, because at that time, black and white people could not stay in the same hotel. It's like, I'm also hearing irreconcilable differences again, like things that are like make us different and like someone's getting treated better than the other person, but okay. And like you getting fought, some of you guys might get provoked while you're out. Someone who's just really dark tries to say something racist or say something, something ain't right here. Something is not right. It's about being, someone's not respecting culture, not respecting your beliefs, not respecting blah, 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 not respecting spirit, not respecting God. And they have been, I just heard, mark my words. Like God, it, like divine just spoke, mark my words. Very authoritative, very like. Mm. Anyways, so the Divine Lorraine was a hotel back in the day. And for the longest time, it got neglected because buyers, whoever bought the property, it they couldn't afford to undertake like the level of upkeep and renovations that were required so then this other i don't know 
person who could afford it comes in way like way after the fact right before I left and they buy it they make it into an apartment complex an apartment complex a luxury apartment complex right recent recent but before the divine Lorraine was this luxury apartment complex and after it was decrepit there was an in-between stage well actually not it was in between stage where people would kind of like break in it would be like no trespassing and there would be like i remember when my friends and i one day we were going we went to like gay pride gay pride festival and we were walking back and i remember we were like should we go in and we're like yeah let's do it <laughs> and um because if you go to the top somehow if you go to the top there would be like amazing views but i remember like my spirit being like maybe today's not the best day for this. Like, I don't know why it feels like we shouldn't. Like, I'm all about an adventure. I'm all about a trespassing moment. <laughs> um, but I remember, like, my spirit just being like, uh-uh. And literally, there was, like, this wall of mosquitoes. Like, this wall of, like, flies. Literally just, bzzz, and I was just like, nah, dude. Like, that's not... I, I will listen to nature. I'll listen to my intuition before I listen to logic and before I listen to my friends or anybody else like and my friends know like if I say uh -uh, something something's not right they're like okay yeah we're leaving too or if they don't leave they find out shortly after we should have fucking left like we should have listened to Jess but anyways so uh, we left so nothing happened that day but the, the moral of the story is is like there are people a lot of unsavory characters were using this area this space in order to hide out in order to do drugs and just random reckless fucking shit and now it's like this luxury hotel something about having a dark past having a dark history having something that it's like comes to light or something like that but the reason why Lorraine is coming through I have an issue with the word Lorraine right now if that's your name, nothing against you, I promise. It's something about war, getting in, going to someone who, Lorraine name meaning in the Bible. I don't know. There could be a connection to France at the time of the eclipse. As I'm doing this reading, like the reason why I'm getting uncomfortable is because I feel like I just keep keep hearing like marksman again. Like I feel like someone has a mark. And I sometimes if I post something that is meant to guide, I it can also it can attract a lot of people who need to hear it, but can also attract a lot of people who are against hearing it. Because it's like those polar extremes and I don't like these that, that's one of the reasons why I was like I never want to be on the internet because well whatever the base of this reading we have eight of wands and four of cups my loves this means don't go on that trip don't do it don't go stay home <laughs> four of cups you might be bored at home you might be like ugh, but trust me being in your safe space and being in your sacred bubble and being in your fuck your little fuck, you know, fuck bubble. I don't know why I was about to say that. Like, your little spot. Like, the devil card is here. It's like, eight of wands is wanting to shoot out, but it's reversed. So, you just skirt, turn around, and four of cups. You know what? I'm good right here. Anything that y'all might be offering me, anything that, you know, that cup, that drug, that this, that that, that invite, that dinner, that steak, I'm good. Good on it. And there's this really strong emphasis on someone who is healing right now, someone who it's not, those are going to be more vulnerable people, more vulnerable populations, those who are really focusing on themselves. Oh, the Empress reversed and the Two of Cups. I'm hearing that someone is going to enter into a relationship in order to backstab someone else. Are you serious? That's how low vibration you are. Someone is entering into a relationship in order to get over someone. They're, it's not all what it looks like. Two of Cups is reversed and the Empress card reversed. Even a man here, they might be trying to have sex with a lot of people in order to get over an ex or get over a person. 
it's like the nine of swords like they know that they shouldn't be doing it but there's a battle going on within them so then like one night at like 3 a.m they call you three of cups here reverse and the death card reverse it all comes crashing down on them it's like you're they're doing a lot of things to gain to garner is what i'm hearing to garner attention to garner a, it's like a facade and like spirits like you i've given you so many warnings you should have just ha handled this yep ace of swords reverse and knight of swords in the future there's an in invite in information you're going to gain clarity into why you had to say no to something why you turned down an invite ace of swords can also be very brutal The world card reverse and the ten of wands reverse. Let me sit with this. I just heard the word. This is why we couldn't carry out. This is why we couldn't advance. This is why we couldn't move forward. I'm also hearing new world order. Spirit is telling those people of love and light and from a higher spiritual space. You are being protected right now. You have nothing to fear. Literally, you have nothing to fear. It's like at dawn or at daybreak or at dusk, when the light is about to go down, your protection, like a veil starts to protect you. It's spirit's protection. And the iris, you guys, look at the symbolism of the iris. Faith, hope, courage, wisdom, admiration. Wisdom, compliments hope and faith okay purple irises were planted over the graves of women to summon the goddess to guide the dead in their journey like what have we been talking about there's an iris here ancient egyptian kings marveled in the irises exotic nature and drawings have been found of the flower in egyptian palaces yeah the iris commonly means wisdom, hope, trust, and valor. V valor. Valor, you got to be careful with. Because um, it means like it's connected to like the warrior. So don't go fighting these battles. Let spirit fight these battles for you. And the way for you to fight your battles by saying no. I keep getting drawn to the five of cups. So someone might be in a space right now where they feel like they want to be involved, they want to go out, they want to be active, they want to show up, but because they know that they might be advanced, they feel like they could be advanced or they should be advancing, but Spirit's like, I, oh, Spirit said, I would never harm you. I'm not going to harm you. Spirit says, like the divine, the voice of God says, I'm not going to har harm you. My, I will, like, my intention is not to harm you. So if that's the case and the spirit is going to destroy or end the world, I'm sorry, world, revort, world reverse and 10 of wands, don't, if that is the intention is to destroy that world or destroy that, what needs to be destroyed. I'm also seeing 66666, like there's very demonic, I'm sorry guys. I know like in our, in our, we don't talk about it enough. Like I guess because of Christian faith, whatever, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys all the time. I get it. There's people who are gonna fight me. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care anymore. Like, I don't care. Yes, okay, 666 could be a spiritual significance. And yes, some people who worship, whatever. I fucking do you, boo. But like, what I'm saying is some things are not right. Some things are actually evil. And if you want to fight me on that, you're fighting yourself because I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care what you think, what you feel, what you believe. Then maybe this is not your channel. Again, this channel is going to attract people to the light and there's going to be people who are attracted to the dark. Clearly, clearly. I don't care. I don't care. Like, I don't care. But there is a mark here i don't mean to be so cryptic but this is not also not me trying to to there's a mark and spirit god is saying i'm not going to harm you i'm not going to harm you who needs to hear this if you are feeling like i just keep hearing like someone has been calling out conjuring out like again it has something to do with someone who's been 
like they're they're de they're disconnected like someone who's been working magic and trying to like conjure but spirit has been telling them like you have to deal with the wounds on your heart you have to deal with your shadow self you have to deal with your addiction you have to deal deal with your codependency you have to deal with your resentment the jealousy that you have towards it's like you're trying to manifest but while you're manifesting your heart is heavy with the shadow so you're even though you're not trying to manifest that again you do and there's a flip side to that coin because those who actively are being protected right now and those who are in divine's hands and you know you are because you do try to do the right thing and some things just seem to backfire some things don't seem to work out it's it's not working out for a reason spirit god the divine whoever is trying to protect you don't follow the crowd don't follow the masses someone is going to get upset at what it is that i'm saying and i don't give a shit yep nine of wands seven of wands someone is really trying to fight to get to you someone is really there's a rooster here too and there's a reason why i have chickens and there's a reason why i kept my roosters but someone is really trying to fight to advance to get to you i've said that they're like a warrior they're like a fighter it's not that you're not meant to be fought for it just means what are they fighting for what are they trying to fight to get what are they trying to fight you like it's like someone who's trying to fight like and like they're fighting someone off or fighting whatever don't go out <laughs> I can't say it enough. This is the most uncomfortable reading I've ever done. Look at this. Hangman and Queen of Cups. This is your advice. Hangman is, it's okay, it's a-okay to not be involved in, in everything. It's a-okay to not be liked or loved by everyone. Fuck them. There's one thing that my ex, who was a Capricorn, and I send him good energy and I send him good love, always. Like, that will always be there. One thing that I I hold from him, you know what I mean? Like that I hold on to is like this idea of like, fuck it, fuck them, fuck this, fuck that. <laughs> like I learned so much from that mentality. And like, Cap that's why I've always vibed with Capricorns. One of my best friends here is a Capricorn. And the wall, I was just talking to her about this last night. The wall that Capricorns build, also ruled by the devil card, is so strong and so like unsurmountable right and it's there for a reason some people look at it as a bad thing i've never looked at it as a bad thing i'm a virgo so and i'm I'll always have my head down i'm always working i'm always being of service that's just my natural nature even the things that is i like to do i turn into work or like the work of it is what i love to do aka taking care of my chickens my roosters homesteading farm life whatever right so having that and as, around my homestead not only do i have a whole brigade of energy protecting my space that my mom channeled and we just did all of our work here and I continue to do work to protect my home space of course I would but around that is an actual fence an actual gate that's to protect my world and what it is that I'm doing here from the rest of the world that's what Capricorn energy does and as I'm saying that why am I talking about Capricorn here yeah, we have Pluto retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. So it's about making sure that you are highly protected, making sure that you no one can advance on you. Someone here wants to fight for something that you have. Someone wants to fight or or if they can't get in, they're trying to pull you out. The answer is no. Leave them on red. Look at this, my loves. Hermit card and the star card. Hermit card is about being in your own and the one thing too about my two, the, the two Capricorns, they don't care what anybody thinks about them. They don't care if you like them. They don't care. Like they care about what they've got going on. And I feel like the devil card is there because it's like on the flip side, it's like you, you, like you couldn't try to convince this. They're, they're unmovable. They're not going to move. So with the Hermit card and the Star card, it's like at night, you just, I don't know why I'm feeling that. Someone who's disappointed, but they're doing everything right and they're really trying to be a good person and they're really trying to learn and, and grow and prosper and 
really are showing up and some of you guys have gone through a lot of heartache, a lot of disappointment, a lot of tired feelings, a lot of exhaustion. You've had bad luck. Don't, you're actually being protected right now. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, this really wants to come out. Okay, that's been coming out a lot. I've learned so much from like my, my friendships, my relationships, all of them. That's why I bring them up. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. One more. I just feel like there's one more. Look at that. So we have so many like rodent, rodent energies here. We have the groundhog, we have the mouse and we have the beaver. So these are things that like literally they lay low, they crouch, they hide. Um, Groundhog says time to let go. It's like, literally it's like if the groundhog sees his shadow, he, he dips back in and then winter extends. Remember that song like looks like an early winter? Hmm. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. One tiny mouse can take down a whole house. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Then look at this, like we have the cat and then we have the dove. And I just feel like the cat's watching the dove. It's like this little messenger of peace, this little like, regardless of what you've gone through, beings of love and light, like you still show up and be peaceful or you still try to fix. And then you have someone who's just neglects that or says, fuck you or fuck that. I don't normally see the cat as a bad thing, but I in this reading, it doesn't feel good. It's like someone who's like negligent to the intentions, to the goodwill of another person and then they take advantage and they're waiting to pounce on the dove. And it's like, well, what did the dove do? And it's like something about that dove. And it's like, why the fuck are you so upset about a peaceful, like the dove represents like spirit. Like the dove represents Holy Spirit. Why are you so triggered by its light and its peacefulness? You need to look at yourself. I don't like this reading. Then we have brown bear spirit who goes in his cave and he hides. And literally brown bear spirit says, take time out. Oh, cow spirit. This is my animal totem. The miracles are endless. Guys, I, I get this feeling. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but when I need to do like an energy thing after, after this reading, I'm going to have to do it because I feel it's just something ain't right. If I do not welcome in any type of malicious, bad energy, I'm not trying to fight with nobody. Like I don't have... The intention for that I'm not trying to I just heard whittle away this, this is just not I'm listening to this message this is just this is very different it feels very wow it's funny because the card that just said if you believe but I also heard it's like you need to leave <laughs> Like it says, if you believe what I heard when I read it, it's like I saw. And then at the base of this reading, you see, choose a new direction. Then we have take action. The situation will improve. Ask your angels and perfect timing. So this definitely tells me that while you're in this, I just feel you leaving away from a space, a place, a situation that which you do not belong. Or it like... If you believe, I see it as you need to leave. So it's like, don't, don't even get yourself in a position where you need to leave a circumstance. It's like, oh shit. Um, what I just heard is like, if someone's, oh God. If someone's in a foreign country, mm -mm, I don't like this. Mm -mm. I heard three to six months they're advancing. If someone's in a foreign country and you feel like you're safe right now, you have to go back home. 
I just heard all hell is about to break loose. No, ma'am. Nope. I don't like this. <laughs> I literally just want to like close this reading out like I'm good, I'm done. I don't like this. Merkaba, Merkaba, Merkaba. Look that up for you, for Merkaba. Some of you guys are gonna use that in order to help point you in the direction of safety. Yep, Merkaba crystal, Merkaba star. Follow it. Yes, dude. Hermit card and the star card. The star card, Merkaba. Yep, our connection with the higher being, God, Earth. You guys are going to spend this time to connect with spirit, to connect with God. Someone's suckling something. Okay, this is getting weird. Merkaba is, um, comes from a Hebrew word, which means chariot. And when broken down phonetically, it's light body and spirit. Yeah, so I know that you guys are going to be like, well, just don't go. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but um, what do you do? You spend time with spirit. Like you have nothing to be afraid, afraid of. Um, yeah, some of you guys who are going down a path, a dark path, and you know, you've known this spirit has shown you and told you some of you guys who are triggered, triggered by beings of light, or you just keep wanting to suckle. Oh, that's what it is. Cause I just heard someone suckling. You just want to suckle and siphon and pull from beings of love and light. And then you get mad at them. I can actually relate to this. You get mad at them because they're not giving you more. You're a dark entity. You're feasting on light. And you will use anything to fight, to force, to push. And it's like you have to respect, but you don't respect. It's like you're trying to force like your way in. You're trying to force more out of a situation when that person told you no already. And the fact that you feel entitled, the fact that you feel like you should, they should be more involved in your life or you should be more involved in their life, that is the dark devil demon within you, like on some real shit. And in our spiritual community, in spiritual TikTok and in spiritual Instagram and in spiritual YouTube, no one wants to talk about the devil, demonic energy, evil energy, malicious energy because of Christian background. I get it. In our spiritual journey, all of us, there is an awakening, especially when it comes to Christianity. A lot of people are breaking away from Christianity and Christians use the devil in order to conform and to pull, to like coerce people and cage people. But dark energies and entities still exist, even if you don't want to accept that they do, or even if you're moving away from that belief system, they still exist. So when you start seeing things that were already written, Let's say this is evil. This is not okay. And it's calling out to you. And you don't want to heed the warning. Or if you say, well, no, like, no, some things were clearly defined as this is not okay. And you need to leave. Choose a new direction. <laughs> yes. And honestly, I don't care. I've never cared if I've offended anybody. I've been careful and cautious about choosing my words, but a, a girl can only do that for so long before when spirit speaks to her and says, say this, you need to let them know. Okay, one last thing. Look at that, you have armadillo, set healthy boundaries. It's too early for this. This <laughs> I just heard some of you guys are like setting like for asking for protection from certain things when it's like you have to protect yourself. Like you have to protect yourself from yourself. This one wants to come out ant spirit. Time to collaborate. What? Koi fish, there's always enough. Something about being... Time to collaborate feels like getting divine direction from God, from the universe, from your angels, your guides, into like what's next for you. I'm also seeing 
something that was abundant, it died. Like it's like the waters. Oh wow, this is a very specific message. So something that was abundant, it's like in this environment, in this land where like the waters dried out and the fish died, right? And then the ants come in and eat the body of the fish. Then three, six months pass and all of a sudden the waters come pouring back down again and the same spot where it was a, a lake starts to fill up and fish just somehow show, I don't know how it works out, you guys, I don't know. It's like the cycles of life and it's reminding me of 10 of wands and the world card of like the end of a world, the end of an era, the end of a something, the end of a cycle. And some of you guys, like, I want you to know, like, if you feel uncomfortable, if you've been emotional, if you've been turbulent, feeling turbulent energy, it's like this hand that's grabbing out of the water really bothers me. But it's like someone who is of light and just keeps showing up with good intention and positive vibes, but they are also going through their own battle. People are still trying to pull them down and pull them under. And it's like your circumstance that you are mourning, that you are crying over, that has that has been eaten up by the ants and eaten up, it comes around in another form because that's always how it works. So where something was once rotting, where something was once spirit, I just heard where God said, this is forbidden for you. And I keep hearing God or the divine saying, I will not hurt you. I will not harm you. So if this was eaten away from your life and you're mourning it, it's okay for you to mourn the loss of that thing, but also realize that there are vultures who fly around who, who want to prey on you or coerce you or bring you to the dark side when you're feeling something sad because it's easy to catch someone when they're off guard. It's easy to catch someone when they're sad. Or, but you keep your eyes on spirit. You keep your eyes on the Merkaba. Like you keep your eyes on the chariot where you're going and you're not afraid to do it you're alone. You're not afraid to do it solo dolo because you know that you have a path. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Be resourceful. I'm good on this. I'm headed out. You guys, definitely for those who follow your, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I wish I could like separate and talk to my group, like my good, my, and just tell you guys specifically, but I don't want you to, I don't want to give the enemy fuel, you know what I mean? And know how you're protecting yourself because then they're going to try to advance and fight you against that. So for those of you guys who feel called, re-listen to this video and take the bits and pieces and put it together. Listen to your intuition on how to protect yourself because there are sprinkled bits of information I've put in here, I've placed in here. I'm not trying to be cryptic, I'm just letting you know. There are certain things that you can do to protect yourself. Those who are dark, dank, I'm setting the intention that they can't see it, that they miss the mark and that they're so focused on their bullshit that they can't see what it is that you're doing to protect yourself and you're, what you're doing to advance and to level up. I am going to go do some energy work and do some, cause I, this is not my vibe. I already have my things that I'm working on. Clearly I need to work on a protection and maybe I even need to create a whole new oil. I actually have a, an, it's not an idea, but I actually see something. Um, so I will be creating that. It has a lot to do with um, dark and light, which I was born on the autumn equi equinox, so it like makes sense, but. <sighs> All right, what is the mantra here? Hmm. I will not hurt you. I am protected. I cannot be harmed. I am of love and light. I heard divine intervention. Also, don't worry about things that are lost, you guys. Something's already eating away at them. Someone who knows that they did something wrong, it's eating them out from the inside. This is this is just dark, yo, all of it. This is not my vibe. I love you guys. I'm sending you all my love. I'm gonna go do my energy work right now. If you need me, you can find me in the apothecary, bahadilife.com. That's where I have all my fixed candles, my intention oils, all of those things are authentic and there to help you to manifest protection, love, abundance, gratitude, peace, healing, all of it. Anything that you would need. 
is there for you. I've been keeping my shop pretty much stocked full except for some crystals are sold out. Um, but everything else, as long as the earth is providing it, I'm providing it. Um, if there's something specific that is that you need, I'm always here to uh, receive special requests. At the time of the Scorpio full moon, I will be creating, and I think I might even be starting now, like the Scorpio, it, today's the 12th, the Scorpio full moon is happening on the 16th. I have the chart pulled up for 2.22 a.m. Just, uh-uh, no, I just heard something else. I'm not saying it out loud. <laughs> but I will be working on my next foil. This has a lot to do with protection for those who need it. And they, you cannot abuse this. You cannot abuse this oil. Um, I'm also seeing the Egyptian um, ancestor oil is going to be heaven sent for a lot of you guys. But there's this next oil. I'm going to just call it the Merkaba oil, Merkaba intention oil. I'm going to start working on it right now after I cleanse my energy. And I'm going to be working on it outside with my chickens. <laughs> I love them. All right, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Um... Yeah, leave your mantras down below and hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. You guys know I'll always keep it real with you. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Whew. Too much. Too much.